Hi. Happy New Year everyone. This is Angel your Lady Luck. Welcome once again to Reasons Now Told. An audio blog by Ray Bienting. Topics discussed here are also discussed in detail at Advanced Game Foul Academy. Do you want to breed the game foul you want? And also save time and money? Oh boy! You can buy minimizing hit and miss in breeding. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now. Just send message to RBS Premium in FB. Or text 0917-716-9860. Understand real breeding. Be a real breeder. Without understanding breeding, one will never be a true breeder. Okay, since it is New Year, we will begin the year by discussing the most important attribute of the game foul, which is cutting ability. You know, of course, how vital cutting ability is. Now here is our host. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year, Angel. I will open my year with this reminder. Learning a little science is not about winning all the time. Winning more than you lose is enough. But mainly it is all about producing the game foul you want. With less expense. And in shorter time. Because you are eliminating much of the trial and error. Most important, as a supposed breeder, you have to give the right answers. When people start asking the right questions. So it helps to learn what you are doing. They who are open-minded welcome something new. They who think they are already masters, do not. They are afraid to discover they might be wrong all along. Those who refuse to learn something new are stuck with what they know. Both the right and the wrong. Those who study leave behind what is wrong. And move ahead with what is right. Now welcome to Reasons Now Told, Season 2019. Yes cutting ability is very important. Good cutting means quick killing. And killing is the name of the game. Cutting ability is the ability to deliver blows that kill quickly. Cutting ability is a must in your bloodline. There is no compromise when it comes to cutting ability. Happy New Year to boss. Yes we have to learn and understand. We are lucky nowadays because what the masters failed to tell us, science can now explain. See boys? Hear that? Cutting ability is vital. It is necessary that your rooster is a good cutter. So, boss, how do you tell if a rooster is a good cutter? How will you know a good cutter when you see one? Well. Detecting a good cutting rooster is easier said than done. Even experts will not be sure of a rooster's cutting ability. Until fight time when it actually carries the knife. But there are indicators. A good cutting cock delivers with fully extended feet. This is to take advantage of reach. And to inflict a more penetrating wound. A good cutting rooster hits the target deliberately and with impact to cause the most damage. This kind of impact can be felt by the handler during hand spars. A good cutter does not fold its leg fully after delivering a punch, in order to deliver another. Meaning, it can deliver multiple cuts in a shorter span of time, with superior speed, thus with better chances of beating the opponent to the draw. A good rooster cuts at the end of the blow not at the start of the pull. This kind of good cut has power, is snappy and with much impact on contact. Take note if your rooster cuts in these manners. Chances are it is a good cutting rooster. So those are indicators of a good cutting rooster. I think an experienced selector can have clear idea. If a rooster is a good cutter from watching its bar. But we understand though that it is not 100% accurate. 
until we see the rooster fight in the pit and display his true cutting ability with the knife on. So how does a game fowl get good cutting ability? Is it from the breeding? Or from training? Nice question Angel. Okay, good cutting is bred into the chicken. There are bloodlines that are real good cutters. It is in their genes. But cutting ability is not solely in the bloodline. Cutting ability is in fact dictated by three factors. Genetic, psychological, and physical. Mental state and physical condition also affect cutting ability. When a cock is not in good mental state, when not properly focused, or when its mind is not fully concentrated on the fight, it may lose its ability to cut, as it may be thinking of other things rather than killing its opponent. Physical conditioning is also very important. A muscle-bound rooster, or one with poor muscle coordination, could not cut as well. This is also true with roosters not in their right weight, or with less than ideal body moisture. Repeat. Cutting ability is influenced by three factors. Foremost of which is the genes or bloodline. Second is psychological factors. And finally physical conditioning. Cutting ability is a mandatory trait that is an obligation of the breeder to properly put in his bloodlines. At Advanced Game Fowl Academy we discuss in detail what are the mandatory traits and the essential traits and which traits can be inherited from the brood cock and which from the hen. I invite you to enroll with Advanced Game Fowl Academy. Just send message to RBS Premium on FB. Come on boys. Is cutting ability now clear to you? You can add more knowledge by enrolling with Advanced Game Fowl Academy. By the way we will announce that in 2019, Airbase Ugbo will be devoting more serious time on the development of the Philippine fowl. Well, you see, Filipino farmers cannot earn money by raising native chicken. But what if we can develop a modern native chicken that can provide real profit to farmers? Because it is bigger with more meat to sell and better fighter that it can also be sold as gamecock. A native chicken that can grow big enough to be profitable if sold as meat. And, will be more profitable, if some roosters shall be good enough, to be sold as fighting cocks for much higher prices. How about it boys? But first of all what is a native chicken? Let's listen to this. Why not make a Philippine fowl, a Philippine native chicken that is bigger and better fighter? Yes it can be done. But first what is a native chicken? What is the meaning of native? For our purpose native could mean, the indigenous inhabitants of a place. Or introduced to a place and inhabited the place for a long period of time. In some dictionaries it could also mean, born in a particular place. But to us this definition should not apply to native chicken. The hybrids with foreign breeds, the imported breeds, regardless hatched here in the Philippines, cannot be called Philippine native chicken. A native chicken is a native to a place. Yes. But native in this case also has another meaning. Like naked or bare. Or natural. Native chicken is unaltered, or not genetically modified, not even by specific purpose breeding. A native chicken should be a natural chicken which is inherently, and essentially a multi-purpose fowl. Native chicken is a chicken unaltered in appearance and purpose. A native chicken should look like chicken. It should pack flavor like the good old chicken. And, in the first place, could fight well and intrinsically game like all chickens were at the onset. For example, the oversized Cornish crosses, called broilers, although they came from Indian game, don't look like chicken anymore, because they look like inflated airbags with feathers. 
The broilers don't taste like the old good chicken. Because, without lots of seasoning and a good chef, they taste like air. Definitely broilers can't fight. They can hardly stand. Let alone fly and kick. These broilers are never native to any place. They are manufactured in so-called chicken factories. In many different places in the world. Therefore, broilers can never be native chicken. On the other hand, a native chicken we are developing. The Philippine fowl, looks like chicken. Tastes like chicken. And fights like chicken. It is made in the Philippines by Filipinos. And it is inhabitant of the Philippines. Most important is the fact that a big part that constitutes the Philippine fowl comes from genes of native chicken that is indigenous to the Philippines. A small part comes from native chicken introduced to the Philippines. Thanks to the process of return breeding. Indeed, the Philippine fowl is a chicken good for the table and good for the pit. As what chickens are supposed to be. So, hold your breath, a Philippine fowl is coming. Thank you.